which is also a square matrix a square matrix start with a square matrix order n by n we say that a is nil potent matrix if one only there exists positive integer there exists a positive integer k such that a for k is 0 right if there exists a positive integer in such a way that a for k equals to 0 then one can say that k is nil potent matrix right if a smallest that means if such a positive integer among the all small, smallest among the all positive integers we should pick up a least positive integer in such a way that this condition holds. One can say that that is nothing but index. That means the smallest positive integer k for which repo k equals to zero is called index index of matrix nil potent matrix right so among all positive integers look at the small index that raised to power of k a raised to the power of k is equal to zero that happens then one can say that that is nothing but index index of a matrix right so look at the example simplest example Suppose you take A is a zero matrix. Is it important? The answer is yes, because A power one is zero itself. Yes or no? What is A power one? A power one is zero. What is A matrix? A matrix is zero matrix. So zero power one, that is actually zero. So A power one is zero means what? A is nil potent. Right? Suppose you take this, you take zero, one, zero, zero. If you take this, is it important? Is it important? Look at a square. A square. What is a square? A into a. But what is a? 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. That means 0, 0, 0. That means 0, 0. That means 0. So a square is 0. So at least one positive integer such that that a power k equals 0, then one can say that a is nil potent. Here a power 2 is 0, a square is 0, therefore a is nil potent. a is nil potent. Right? See, this is a cube also 0. Why? Because a square into a, that is a square is 0. 0 into a is always 0. 0 matrix. a power 4 also 0. a power 5 also 0. But among all powers, you know, among all powers, 2 is the least power, right? 2 is the smallest power for which a square is 0. Therefore, 2 is nothing but index. What is index of a? Index of a matrix, 2. Index of a matrix is 2 because actually among all powers, 2 is the least power for which a square is 0. Therefore, index of a matrix is 2. a power 3 is 0. a power 4 is 0. a power 5 is 0. So, a power n is 0. a power n is 0 for every n bigger than equals 2. But among all positive integers, 2 is the least, therefore 2 is the index of the matrix. That's what I said argument. Right? Suppose you take this 1, 0, 0, 0. Is it important? What is a square? 1, 0, 0 into 1, 0, 0. You know, what is this? 1, 1, 0, 0. 0. That zero. is matrix itself. Yes or no? Yeah. That is the matrix itself. Similar like cube. What is a cube? A square into a that is a square is nothing but what a, a, a into a, a itself so what you observe a power n is a for every n therefore it cannot be zero yes or no a cannot be zero therefore a power n is not never zero for every n therefore it is not nil potent because anything to the power of a it cannot be null matrix, therefore it is not it is not a nil potent matrix. Right? Suppose you take this 
fourth one a equals to zero 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 right zero 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 and one zero zero two three zero right is it important is it important so there are actually two arguments one thing is actually do the problem by definition but one thing i am going to give a short trick for them you know you know this notation in linear algebra this is nothing but what 1 0 0 0 e2 notation is what 0 1 0 0 0 e3 is nothing but what 0 0 0 0 1 you know it is a standard basis for r3 you know that i'm going to use this argument see one can you one can compute this argument by directly or else one can use the shortcut you know a even what is a even is a matrix of linear transformation a is nothing but a is a matrix of linear transformation of t t equals to ax so a even can be written as this is zero so zero into e1 plus is one into e2 plus two into e3 right a2 can be written as zero into e1 zero into e2 Next, three into e three. Next, e three is zero into zero into e one, zero into e two, zero into e three. Is it clear, all of you? Hello, is this step clear? Yes, sir. Sir, one second, please. One second. Yeah, this is actually what standard basis for all three. Right. Therefore, a one can be written as zero into a one, zero into a one, e one, e one is nothing but one zero zero, a plus one into one into e two, plus two into e three. A two can be written as zero into e one, plus zero into e two, plus three into e three. Next, a three can be written as zero into a one. Plus zero into e two plus zero into e three. Is it clear? Yes. Sir. Yes. Nice. Okay. Now once you know this, look compute a square a a a square one a square e one. That means a into this is a composition map. A e one that is a e one is nothing but what is a e one? E two plus e three. That is nothing but a e two plus a e three. A e two is nothing but what? A e two is nothing but three. A two is nothing but what? Three e three. What is a e three? Zero. This is three e three. Next a square a cube e one. What is a cube e one? A a square e one. That is nothing but three e three. You know a is linear transformation. Matrix is linear transformation. Three into a three. A3 is nothing but zero. That is nothing but zero. So that means A1 is this. A square is never zero. A cube is zero. You are getting this, right? Similarly, you apply the same trick for A2. A square E2 is nothing but what? A A2. A of A2. But what is A2? 3A3. But this is nothing but A3. That is nothing but. 3a3 is nothing but 0. This is nothing but 0. So up to second power, you are getting 0. This is a e2 is as it is. What is a e2? 3a3. So this is for a e2. Next, what is a e3? a3 already is 0, right? Therefore, now what is the index for which a e3 is 0? a e1, a e2, a e3, 0. What is the least index? You know, index is 3, right? So therefore, a cube is 0. Matrix of a linear transformation a cube is zero because actually a cube once you compute a cube this is nothing but is zero. Similarly, a what is the what is the power for which a cube what is what power of the matrix is zero? But power is actually three. Therefore, a cube is zero. Therefore, a is an important matrix. A is an important. This is a very short technique actually. So, an important matrix one can use this technique by Jordan blocks computing Jordan blocks. So therefore, this index, Sorry, index 
ए वन इक्वल टू ई टू प्लस टू ई थ्री फर्स्ट स्टेप सर ओ सॉरी ना ओके सर टू ई थ्री या टू ई थ्री इस दिन एनी प्रॉब्लम नथिंग प्रॉब्लम राइट इफ इट कांस्टेंट इस देर नथिंग प्रॉब्लम जी जीरो इंडेक्स है नथिंग चेंज इंडेक्स 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 right so therefore r else you can compute by direct compute a compute a square compute a cube you are going to get a power 3 is 0 but this is a lengthy laborious work but this is very simple technique right r else you can take simplest example another example a is equals to you know same technique 1 2 3 0 0 3 0 0 0 0 The means what is a one? Anybody? What is a one? Zero. Zero into a one. Zero into a two. Zero into a three. That means zero. What is a two? A two is nothing but one into one into a one. What is a three? Two a one. Two a three three. Three a two. Three a two. So you know a one is zero. So there is no problem with a one. What is a square? A of e one, A of e one is nothing but zero. Next, why it's a square e three? A square is e three is nothing but two e one plus three e two. But e one is zero. Three e two, e two is nothing but what? E two is nothing but e one. Next, a cube e three. What is that? A a square e three. That means a three e one. That means three a one. That means zero. Therefore, a one zero, a square e two zero, a cube e three is zero. So what is that? A cube is zero. Therefore, it is a nilpotent matrix. Nilpotent matrix of index three, of index three. Is it clear? Hello. Sir, please explain again. The previous problem. Yeah. This is that problem. Both are same, right? You know, first you know this. Even actually, what one zero? Once you know this, this is actually what is a? A is a matrix of linear transformation. Some linear transformation. T equals t x. You know that that idea. Yes, sir. T is a linear transformation from R cube to R cube by t x is equals to a x. You know, it is a linear transformation. This a is this a. So you know B is a basis for that. B is a basis for that. One zero 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 one zero zero zero. A even can be written as matrix of linear. You can you can think A as a matrix of linear transform. What is A even? Zero even one A two one A two two A A three. What is A two? Zero even zero A two three A three. Next A what is A three? Zero zero even zero A two plus zero A three. That is zero. You can compute all powers. Such that a power something is equal to zero. That something is an index of a matrix. Okay. So what is tricky is you know whenever it is a strictly upper triangle or lower triangle. Angular matrix. It is always nilpotent. What is strictly? I told you. What is strictly? A is a is zero. A is strictly lower triangular. A is a is zero. I the I the entry of this is zero for every i bigger than equals to j. This is strictly upper triangle. I the entry of a is a is zero whenever i less than or equals to j. This is strictly lower triangle. Strictly lower triangle matrix. So whenever you are given a matrix strictly upper triangle, strictly lower triangle. Look at the last example. This is strictly low upper triangle matrix. This is this is strictly upper triangle matrix. Is it no? Is it right? Whenever it is 
strictly about angular matrix always it is an important matrix what is this what is this this is strictly lower triangular matrix so it is a nil potent matrix one one thing notice again whenever you have a matrix in which diagonal entry is non zero it is cannot be nil potent suppose a is a matrix a square matrix a square matrix with at least one with at least one non zero diagonal entry cannot be never be in fact never be nil potent why you know suppose you take this 0 0 0 1 here diagonal entry is what here diagonal entry here is non zero one is non zero compute a1 what is a1 zero what is a2 what is a2 zero even plus 1 e2 that is e2 what is a square a square even is zero what is a square e2 that is a of e2 what is a of e2 e2 itself what is a cube e3 e2 again e2 itself what is a power 4 e2 that is again e power e2 so what you observe a power n e2 should not be zero right for every n is it clear hello is it clear andy yes sir a power n e2 never be zero so therefore it is it cannot be nil potent suppose you take this 100010000 is it nil potent is it nil potent look at diagonal entry no no this is non zero therefore it cannot be nil potent not nil potent yeah next is trace of a nil potent always zero because nil potent in see what you observe in nil potent matrix in nil potent matrix all diagonal entries are zero is it no that means in nil potent nil potent matrix trace is zero or else trace of nil potent matrix is zero see this is very very important properties why because when you deal with the characteristic polynomial minimal polynomial jordan blocks oh, see see what is actually characteristic polynomial something you know a cube into trace of a plus you know uh, you know uh, sum of our minimum second minors into a going on going on plus determinant equals to zero you know trace determinant you know all the things are important when you deal with the characteristic polynomial minimal polynomial jordan blocks so these properties are all all are important so trace of nil potent always zero because diagonal entries are zero once diagonal entries are zero therefore trace is zero right next is if you take this example 0 0 0 0 a 1 b c 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 the question is is it nil potent anybody no nil potent a1 no. is actually what zero a2 what actually a1 plus a2 plus b e3 plus c e4 again a3 is what zero a4 what zero so therefore in just you you know this is zero this is you know so there is no bother with this compute a square e2 a square e2 is nothing but what a1 A two, B three, A three, C A four. So A one is zero. This zero. A three zero. A four zero. So what remains? A two. But again, A two is nothing but what? Same A one plus A two plus B three plus C A four. So similarly, once you compute A A two, again you are going to get the same. Once you compute A A four four E two, again you can compute this. So this is never zero. Understand a power n, a power n e two should not be zero for every n. Therefore, it cannot be nil potent. In fact, it is iden potent. Right? It is iden potent, but not nil potent. Because same thing you are getting, same thing you are getting. Once you compute all these things, you are getting same thing. Not nil potent. Right? 
next is suppose again same algebra properties suppose a and b are nilpotent question is does it mean that a plus b nilpotent Does it mean that A plus B is important? Anybody? Yes, yes sir. No need yes. not be in general. Suppose you take a 0, 1, 0, 0 matrix. You know, it is a strictly upper triangular matrix. Already, it told you strictly upper triangular matrix is important. Important. You take this B equals to 0, 0, 1, 0. You know, it is also important. Because strictly lower triangular matrix. Look at the sum. What is the sum? 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Is it nil potent now? Is it nil potent? Is it nil potent? 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is nothing but identity matrix. You know, once you compute all the powers, A cube, what is A plus B whole cube? Again, you're going to get A. What is A plus B whole power N? Always I for every n bigger than equals to two. So therefore this is never zero. A plus B whole power N never zero matrix. Therefore it is not nilpotent. Is it clear? So sum of nilpotent may not be nilpotent. Is it clear? Involuntary matrix cannot sir. Involuntary? Matrix cannot sir. Then, 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 and a, a plus B, a plus B. yeah, a plus B is invalidary matrix. A plus B, a plus B because a plus B whole square is I, no? therefore, it is invalidary matrix. A is important, B is important, then we can a plus B invalidary matrix. Mm -hmm. In general, the true goals is not A plus B who is an important, is an, is an identity matrix, is an invalidary matrix, is an inventory matrix. But in general, the true goals is not true. Okay, so look. Suppose you take this, see, suppose you take this A equals to 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, this, it is nil potent. Right? You take this, B equals to 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Both are nil potent because nil it's potent. strictly upper triangle. But what is A plus B? 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, but it is yeah, index is actually a plus b whole cube is 0 because it is the it's an upper triangle matrix of order 3 strictly upper triangle matrix a plus b whole power 3 is 0 here a plus b whole square not 0 look at check look at the previous problems look at the previous problems you know this a power 3 is 0 whenever it is strictly upper triangle matrix a power 3 is 0 here it is a plus b whole cube is 0 because it's a strictly upper triangular matrix here, a plus b whole square should not be i. In fact, should not be i. Therefore, sum of uh, some may not be invalidary matrix. Some may not be invalidary matrix. But it is a squared matrix. Therefore, it is a two, or two cross two matrix. Therefore, it is a invalidary matrix. A plus b. Next, next product. What about the product? Product. If a gamma b are nil potent. What about the product? Anybody? So what about the product? So check check the example. You know what are the product? See what is this a plus b whole power k? You know what what is a plus b whole square? A b into a b. Right. Um, See, in general, this cannot be, uh, you know, commutative. to BA, it cannot be commutative. to this. If it is commutative, to this is a square into B square, right? In that case, you know, one can, one, one can conclude that there it is an important, but in general, it cannot be, you know, AB cannot be BA, AB cannot be BA, understand? So therefore, what is my guess? My guess, it may not be nilpotent. So, you know, what is my same? You can take this. What is my B? What is my B? 
So zero one zero zero. What is my AB? Anybody? What is my AB? Zero one zero 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 one zero. Question is, what is the product? One 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 zero one zero 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 zero. Is it zero, important? Zero. Anybody? Is it not important? Okay. No, because diagonal entry is non-zero. Diagonal entry is non-zero. This is one. Diagonal entry is non-zero. Therefore, not important. Understand? See, look at my guess. A B whole square may not be A square B square. A B whole cube may not be A cube B cube because matrix multiplication may not be commutative. So that we can guess that A B into B may not be important. This is my example. Counter example for that. Right. But if I take uh, a nil potent, nil potent of index p, p is also nil potent matrix of index q. Then you know what is the problem here? A problem with a commutative. Therefore, if I take commutative condition a into b equals to b into a. Then A B is also nil potent, nil potent with index less than or equals to minimum of index of A, index of B. Right? Why you know? So you know it is looking like order of an element in group theory. A is a nil potent matrix. Therefore, A power P zero. Index P, B is also an important matrix. This is zero, but once you compute A P whole power P, you know A into B is you know commutative. Once it is commutative, it can be written as A power P into B power P. See, so go back to your group theory. So order of an element is in general A B whole power uh, something n may not be equal to A power n to B power n. In general, this result may not be true, but in an abelian group, it is true. A power A B into B whole power n is equal to B power n. It is true for abelian groups. You know. I can take the condition commutative to property a b a into b equals to b into a. Therefore, this this is true. But a power b is equals zero. G power zero into b is equals to zero matrix into b power p is equals to zero matrix. Therefore, a b whole power p is zero. Therefore, index you know a b a power b is a a b sorry a b is a nil potent matrix. Because can you say that p is a index of a b? No. Can you say that P is an important uh, P is an index of a matrix A B? No, but the one can conclude that index of A B should be less than or equal to P. Is it clear? See, suppose A power n is equal to E. Does it mean that n is an order of a matrix? N is an order of an element. If A power n is equal to E, does it mean that order of A equals to N? No, right? N cannot be least positive mm -hmm. integer, right? Yes. Understand? But but order of A Can be less than or equal to n. One can say this: order of a can be less than or equal to n. In this case also, index of a b should be less than or equal to p. Is it clear? Yes. Similarly, a b whole power q. What is this? You know, a b a into b equals to b into a. Therefore, a power q into b power q. That is a power q. I don't know. b power q is zero. Zero matrix into a power q is zero matrix. Therefore, a b is an important matrix. What is index? Less than or equal to Q. Therefore, index of A is this. Less than or equal to B. Index of A is equal to less than or equal to Q. Therefore, index of A B less than or equal to minimum of B comma Q. But what is B comma Q? Index of I. Index of B. So this is very very important property. Index of A B. Index of A B less than or equal to minimum of index of A. Index of B. Right? Is it clear? Next. So, see what is the problem you are facing? Sum. You know what is the sum here? In general, A is an important, important matrix of index P. So, we also an important matrix of index P. Index Q. What is A plus B? You look at A plus B whole square. What is this? A square plus AB plus BA plus plus 
b square right so you know can it be say so can you say that actually a plus b is an important already told you some of nil potent may not be nil potent what is the problem problem with a b b a what is the problem a b b a but if i take a strong condition if i take a strong condition suppose i can take with a condition with a condition a b equals to b a a b equals to b a you know in that case you know what is this does it mean that does it mean that there's some there's some is it an important matrix is it an important matrix the answer is actually but the thing is look at a plus b whole power p plus q minus 1 you know a b is is equals to b a they are commutative to, already told you whenever the matrices are commutative to banamel theorem hold for that matrices so therefore this can be rewritten as r is equals to 0 to p plus q minus 1 p plus q minus 1 c r a power p plus q minus 1 minus r b power r is it clear hello is it clear Yes. Because by you know, A B is equals to B A. Whenever this is true, by normal theorem holds. So what is this? You know, what is this actually? Whenever R is bigger than Q, in fact R is bigger than equals to Q. What happens? This P power Q nullify right? It tends to zero right? It may it it is zero right? Because R is bigger than equals to Q. Because P is an important matrix of index Q. Therefore P power Q is zero. so any power that is big any power of b bigger than which is bigger than q always zero understand see once p power 3 is zero what is p power 4 zero b power 5 is zero see b power q zero means what b power r is zero for every r bigger than equal to q so therefore this is zero in that case a plus b whole power p plus q minus 1 is zero similarly if you take r is less than 1 less than q what happens what is what is what happens q, q minus r is positive that means q in positive integer q, q uh, positive integer r r also positive integer therefore q minus p q minus r bigger than equals to 1 because q and p is positive integer q minus p is a positive integer so q minus r should be bigger than equals to 1 because they are distinct integers whose distance is positive whose distance is positive so difference is always bigger than equals to 1 right once Difference equals to bigger than equals to one. What I need is actually I need p plus q minus one minus r, adding p and both sides. Right. In fact, you can take minus one common p. Minus one p plus q minus one minus one because actually this is nothing but p minus one minus one is bigger than equals to one. Take uh, you know sum with uh, p and both sides. What you get is you are getting this one. So therefore, this power is bigger than equal to p. That means what? This is zero. So in both the cases, when our r bigger than equal to q, this is zero matrix. When our r is less than one also, this is this is this this is zero matrix. So zero into something matrix is zero matrix. Therefore, it is zero matrix. So in all cases, what you conclude? P a plus b whole power q minus one is a zero matrix from all cases. That means a plus b is a nil potent. Nilpotent matrix. What is the index? I don't know the index, but the thing is, index. I can conclude that index of a plus b less than or equal to p plus q minus one. That is, index of a plus b should be less than. What is b? Index of a. It is looking like a triangle in equal. Index of b minus. One. So index of a plus b less than or equal to index of a plus index of b minus one. Is it clear? What you have done? We have done the proof for r bigger than equal to q or less than one. In both cases, a plus b is nilpotent. Hence, it is nilpotent for all cases. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next is suppose you take this. In general, product may not be nilpotent, but whenever the matrices are commutative, the product is nilpotent. But if you take this matrix, a and b. Are two square matrices.
So say that if suppose A into B is nilpotent, does it mean that B into A is nilpotent? Is B into A, is it nilpotent? If AB is nilpotent, does it mean that A into B into A is nilpotent? Yeah, tell me. Need not be. So here A into B is nilpotent. That means we can find a least to positive integer. We can find a positive integer, sorry. We can find a positive integer. That's it, that AB full power T zero. That's the definition because AB into B, A into B is nilpotent. We can find a positive integer in such a way that A into B full power T is zero. That means AB whole power T zero means what? AB into AB into AB into AB is zero. Is it right? Right. So that is A into BA into BA into BA. This is BA into B is zero. How many BAs are there? Anybody? How many BAs are there? P. 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 Is it P or P minus one? Suppose AB into AB. How many BAs are there? P minus one. Yeah, P, P minus, minus one. one. That means P minus one. Right. What I do is that I multiply this equation by B. Pre-multiply with B and post-multiply with A. Post-multiply with A. What are you going to get? This is zero matrix. Therefore, BA whole power one into BA whole power one, BA whole power P minus one. That means what? One plus P minus one plus one. That means what? This is zero. So that means BA whole power one plus P is zero. That means what? B into A is nilpotent. Is it clear? In fact, what is index of this? Index of BA should be less than or equal to one plus P. What is one plus P? You know, what is this P? P, if you assume that P is index, this can be rewritten as index of, suppose, suppose you take P is index. So index of BA less than or equal to one plus index of AB. So if A into B is nilpotent, obviously B into A is nilpotent. If B into A is nilpotent, automatically A into B also nilpotent. Is it clear? Hello? जस्ट <laughs> प्रापर्ट <laughs> 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 यू नो मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लिकेशन सैटिस्फाइज असोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी ओके असोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी मात्रे यूज చేసాం ఇక్కడ నేను యూజ్ చేసాను ఏంది ఈ స్టెప్ నుంచి ఈ స్టెప్ కి ఎట్లా వచ్చింది ఓన్లీ అసోసియేటివ్ ప్రాపర్టీ అసోసియేటివ్ ప్రాపర్టీ యూజ్ చేసాను ఇంకా వేరే ప్రాపర్టీ ఏమీ యూజ్ చేయలే మ్యాట్రిక్స్ మల్టిప్లికేషన్ అసోసియేటెడ్ మనం ఆల్్రెడీ చదువుకున్నాం కదా బట్ కాంప్లీట్ ఇక్కడ కాంప్లీట్ అవసరం లేదు కాంప్లీట్ ఉంటే ఇంకా వెళ్ళండి కొట్ బట్ నాకు కాంప్లీట్ అవసరం లేదు ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ ఇస్ If if A is nilpotent, then with the index P, then A power P, A power uh, you can take K is also nilpotent. With index, this is not a greatest integer function. This is a ceiling function. smallest integer p by k See what is greatest integer 1.1 is nothing but 1 1.2 is nothing but 1 this is greatest integer what is ceiling function 1.1 is 2 understand what is greatest integer function this is less than or equal to x this is a greatest integer which is less than or equal to this is what ceiling function is bigger than equal to x both are different you know The ceiling function. This is what is this ceiling function. Ceiling function of p by k. Yeah. Question is if a is nilpotent, integral powers of a is always nilpotent with index p by k. So a is nilpotent means what? A is nilpotent with index p. That means what? A power p zero. 
once you take the power all power k what is this 0 power k that means a power p into a power p into a power p into a power p into k times that means a k all power p is equal to 0 a k all power p 0 means what a k power p is important right so whenever a is nil potent, obviously a square nil potent. Whenever a is nil potent, a cube is nil potent. Whenever a is nil potent, a for k also nil potent. Means integral multiples always nil potent with index p by k. So suppose you take index of a for k is m. Suppose you take the index of a for k is m. What is this? a for k whole power m is zero. That means a for k m is zero. Yes or no? Right? Therefore, index of a, a should be less than or equal to km. What is index of A? Index of A is P. What is index of A? P. So P is bigger than or equal to P less than or equal to km. Therefore, M bigger than or equal to P by K. Therefore, what is M? What is M? Index of AK. So index of AK is equal to ceiling function. Ceiling function. Take this notation. A by k. Sorry. Ceiling function. Suppose I can give you example. Suppose you can take this example. This is important idea. Right? That is index of a power k is ceiling function of index of a index of a by k. Let us solve some problem. Suppose you take this. Let A is a matrix. A power 17 is 0. B is a matrix. B power 19 is 0. What is index of A plus B? Anybody? What is index of A plus B? You know, already told you index of A plus B less than or equal to index of A. 17, sir. Plus index of B minus one right so you can take this as an index 17 plus 19 minus one that means what 36 minus one that what is that 36 minus one that means 35 35 therefore index of a plus b at most at most 35 is first problem second is what is index of a square Index of a square formula is index ceiling of index of a by two. What is index of a? Seventeen. Seventeen by two. That means eight point five. That means you could greatest integer the nine or greatest integer index ceiling. The nine. Ceiling function nine. Is it clear? Hello? Sorry. Ceiling function will do such a parasol. Ceiling function and tend and greatest integer function and tend and greatest integer this quality. Ceiling function and tend and for example, it loan and condi is nine this quantum. It loan and condi ceiling function of one and a one a ceiling function of two and a two a right ceiling function of two point three and then condi three and a matter. The geruna inti great. Integer greatest integer and end and the greatest integer. Is the end greatest integer function and the end and least integer ceiling function and the least integer. Least integer. Which is bigger than cos x. X can take bigger on day 20 least integer. X can take bigger on day 20 least integer. But 8.5 on the other. Dean can take bigger on day 20 integer. Now x can take bigger on the integer. Nine. X can take bigger on the integer. Nine. Nine. 9 is 8 this code, 8 this code, x can't bigger than integer this code. That is step function and x can't take integer this code. Yeah, x can into step function and no? step function definition in Japan, step function is always less than or equal to x. x can't take integer this code. Ceiling function and end and x can take integer this code. Ante. Simple logic. Other way, no? Hello? X and X can take an integer. That is the basic idea. Here is the main difference. 
అంటే ఎట్లా ఐడెంటిఫై ఎట్లా చేయాలి సార్ సీలింగ్ ఫంక్షన్ అని ఇప్పుడు మనకు మీరు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేసేటప్పుడు స్టెప్ ఫంక్షన్ అంటారు కదా ఐడెంటిఫై ఫంక్షన్ ఇది ఇట్లా చేయాలి ఇట్లా ఉంటుంది అనుకోండి ఇది సీలింగ్ వాట్ ఇస్తే ఎగ్జామ్ లో మీకు అంటే ఒక్కొక్క బుక్ లో ఒక నోటేషన్ ఉంటది బట్ నేను యూజ్ చేసే నోటేషన్ ఇది ఇది బట్ మీకు ఎగ్జామ్ లో క్వశ్చన్ ఇచ్చింది అనుకో నోటేషన్స్ కంపల్సరీ ఫస్ట్ పేజీలో ఇస్తారు అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇట్లా ఉంటే స్టెప్ ఫంక్షన్ ఇట్లా ఉంటే సీలింగ్ ఫంక్షన్ బట్ ఎనీవే ఏదైనప్పటికీ కూడా ఎగ్జామ్ లో సంథింగ్ నోటేషన్స్ టిపికల్ ఉన్నాయి అనుకోండి మీరు సిఎస్ఆర్ అయినా గేట్ అని తీసుకుంటే నోటేషన్స్ ఫస్ట్ పేజీలో ఉంటాయి ఈ నోటేషన్ అంటే ఇది ఈ నోటేషన్ అంటే ఇది ఇదే నోటేషన్ అంటే ఇదని మెన్షన్ చేస్తారు ఓకే సార్ నోటేషన్స్ గురించి మీరు వరీ కాల్స్ అవసరం లేదు ఎగ్జామ్ లో ఇస్తారు what is index of bq anybody ceiling function of index of b by 3 what is ceiling function of b index of b index of b is 19 19 by 3 that means what is 19 by 3 means what 8 point something that means what 6 6 point something that means 7 what is index x of a square b cube anybody i told you one property index of a b less than or equals to minimum of index of a in index of b this is a important property i told you use this property so this less than or equals to minimum of index of a square index of b cube that is minimum of 9 comma 7 that means కంప్యూట్ సపోజ్ బి పవర్ ఫైవ్ అని అడం కంప్యూట్ బి పవర్ ఫైవ్ చూడడానికి యాక్చువల్ గా పెద్ద రేంజ్ స్ట్రేంజ్ ప్రాబ్లం లాగా అనిపిస్తుంది బట్ ఐడియా ఈస్ వెరీ సింపుల్ ఐడియా త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ అంటే బీ బీని ఫైవ్ టైమ్స్ మల్టిప్లై చేయకండి ఓకే అది అది లాంగ్ లెబోరియస్ వర్క్ థింగ్ ఏంటంటే ఈ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ని సో వాట్ ఐ డూ ఈస్ దిస్ కెన్ బీ రీడ్ ఇట్ ఇన్ అసలు టూ 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 జీరో టూ త్రీ రైట్ జీరో జీరో టూ ఐ కెన్ మేక్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ నీల్ పోటెంట్ సో దిస్ కెన్ బీ రీడ్ ఇట్ ఇన్ అస్ టూ జీరో 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 టూ జీరో 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 టూ దిస్ క్యాలర్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ ప్లస్ జీరో టూ టూ జీరో జీరో త్రీ జీరో 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 ఇది రైట్ అని బడి ఇది రైట్ బట్ దిస్ కెన్ బి రిటర్న్ టూ ఐ ప్లస్ ఏ వేరే ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో టూ టూ జీరో జీరో త్రీ జీరో 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 you know it is nilpotent matrix because upper strictly upper triangular matrix it is nilpotent matrix of index 3 nilpotent matrix of index 3 that means a power 3 is 0 okay what i require i, I require b power 5 you know 2i is a matrix a is a matrix they are commutative matrix because 2i into a is equals to 2 into ia that is 2a next a into 2i is equals to 2 into ai that is equals to 2a so they are commutative matrix once they are commutative to math no binomial induction is applicable for this sum so b power 5 i need so this can be written as 2 2i plus 5 whole power 5 you know these two matrices are commutative so binomial theorem is applicable right so this can be written as 5c that means 2i whole power 5 plus 5c1 2i whole power 5 minus 1 next a power a power 1 5c2 2i whole power 5 minus 2 what is this a square next 2i 5c3 2i whole power 5 minus 3 a cube going on going on 5c5 that means a power 5 a power 5 you know i don't require this this terms as well this term zero because a power 3 zero similarly a power 4 also zero a power 5 also zero is it clear because a is a is an important matrix of index 3 is it clear hello 
so these terms are zero therefore zero matrices therefore what i require you know a 2 into i power 5 is 2 power 5 is 2 power 5 i power 5 is i plus 5c1 means 5 2 into 2 power 4 into i next 5c2 means 5 into 4 divided by 2 into 1 2 power 4 into i into a square Is it clear? Hello? Yes. Sir. Yes. So therefore, yes. 2 power 5 means 32. So this is, what is this? To 16? 32. 32. Yeah, this is 32. What is this? 16 into 5. 16 5 is 16 5 80. 80. 80 plus 32. 80 plus 32. 1 to 12. 1 to 12. 1 to 12. 1 to 12, 0, 0, 0, 1 to 12, 0, 0, 0, 1 to 12. Is it right? Plus, yes, sir. what is this? What is this? Mm, 168. So 10, 168, sir. 10 into 8. 10 into 8 means? Yeah, 10 into 8. 10 into 8, sir. No, 10 into 8, right? 10. Sir, so, 5 into 8. Or 4 into 8. Sir, 5. Please. 5 into 4 by 2 into 1. Yeah, that's it. Right? That's what I'm telling. This is 2. Huh? So 10 into 4, 8, 16. 10 into 16. 16. 160, right? Yes. So 160 into A square. What is A square? Anybody? What is A square? 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 4, 4, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, Four. What is a square? So this is what actually a square. That four is a term. Into a, sir, that is. What? Middle term. Uh, five into two power four into a is this. Five into. Ida ida andi idi actually sum jaise ano. Iden identity matrix jaise kada. Ha, akar a is same sir. Into a. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Good. Okay. Okay, so that's what actually simplification. So what you do is this is A. Actually, yeah. So this is A. So this is only A. So don't do this. A on the two so what power I do? three, sir. Next third term also two power four, sir. Two power three. Five minus two. Yeah, this is three. Yeah, three. Okay. So therefore. This is 2 power 5. I means 2 power 5, 0, 0. It depends on 2 power 5, 0, 0, 0, 2 power 5. Okay. Plus, what is this? So 2 power 4 into 5, 80 into A. What is 80 into A? Leave that level and nothing wrong. So therefore, 0, 2 power 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, means 2 power 5 into 5, 2 power 4 into 2, that means 2 power 5 into 5, right? Next, 0, 0, 2 power 4 into 5, 0, 0, 0. Is it right? Plus a square. So 8 into 10. 8 into 10 means 80. Into a square. What you are getting a square? In the one you are getting a square. 0, 0, 4, 0, 0. Na? What is a square? In the one you are computing, sir. Yes, sir. 4, 0, 0, 0. 0, 4, so, 0. This is what answer. so, this is what actually answer. Right? So, this is actually a simple B4 5. Actually, I have example of B4 10 each night like computer. B4 100 each night like this. Right? This is simple technique. So only for any terms nullify both time. Yes, you need to do it. Only two terms. Two terms, three times. Some justices are about this. So this is what actually best step. No problem either now. So suppose suppose you take this. Kind of problem say manic exam is equal important. B is equal to suppose it is zero zero one. Zero three one zero. 0, 1, 3, 0, 1, 0, 0, 3, 
రైట్ కంప్యూట్ బి త్రీ అంట కంప్యూట్ బి త్రీ బి ఫోర్ త్రీ త్రీ జీరో జీరో వన్ జీరో త్రీ వన్ జీరో జీరో త్రీ వన్ జీరో జీరో వన్ త్రీ జీరో వన్ జీరో జీరో త్రీ యా ఏం చేయాలి బెస్ట్ బెస్ట్ టెక్నిక్ ఏంటి ఫస్ట్ ఇన్ టు రైట్ ద మ్యాట్రిక్స్ హ్యాస్ కెలర్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ త్రీ జీరో 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 త్రీ జీరో త్రీ జీరో 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 త్రీ జీరో 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 త్రీ ప్లస్ జీరో 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 వన్ జీరో 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 వన్ జీరో 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 సారీ జీరో వన్ జీరో జీరో వన్ జీరో 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 రైట్ యూ కెన్ టేక్ దిస్ హ్యాస్ త్రీ ఇంటూ ఐ ప్లస్ ఏ దిస్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ ఈజ్ ఏ యు నో దే ఆర్ కమిటెడ్ సో యూ కెన్ అప్లై బై నెమల్ జీరో త్రీ ఫోర్ త్రీ ఇది కోసం త్రీ ప్లస్ ఐ ఓల్ ఫోర్ త్రీ దట్ మీన్స్ త్రీ ఐ ఓల్ ఫోర్ త్రీ ప్లస్ త్రీ సి వన్ త్రీ ఐ ఓల్ స్క్వేర్ ఇంటూ ఏ ఫోర్ వన్ త్రీ సి టూ త్రీ ఐ ఓల్ ఫోర్ వన్ ఇంటూ ఏ ఫోర్ టూ ప్లస్ ఏ క్యూ రైట్ సో త్రీ ఐ ఓల్ ఫోర్ సెవెన్ మీన్స్ త్రీ ఫోర్ త్రీ జీరో 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 త్రీ ఫోర్ త్రీ జీరో 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 త్రీ ఫోర్ త్రీ ప్లస్ త్రీ ఇంటూ త్రీ స్క్వేర్ దట్ మీన్స్ త్రీ ఫోర్ త్రీ జీరో త్రీ ఫోర్ త్రీ కదా సో త్రీ ఫోర్ త్రీ జీరో సారీ ఇన్ ఇంటూ ఏ ఉంది కదా ఇంటూ ఏ వాట్ ఈస్ ఏ ఇంటూ మల్టీప్లై this is 2 t power 3 into a what is a 0 0 0 3 4 3 0 0 0 3 4 3 0 0 3 4 3 0 0 3 4 3 0 0 0 plus tc2 means 3 3 into 3 3 square into a square what is a square anybody a square is actually you are going to get identity matrix because what this is anti diagonal elements they are anti diagonal elements therefore a square is equals to i this is i mat i similarly what is a cube a square into a what is a cube a cube is nothing but a square into a that means i into a that means a is a matrix therefore easily one can get it so therefore this is nothing but what 3 4 3 0 0 0 3 4 3 0 0 0 3 4 3 0 0 0 0 3 4 3 plus plus is an identity matrix this square into what is this this 3 into 3 that means 3 square that means 0 uh, 3 square into 0 0 0 0 3 square into 0 0 0 0 3 square into 0 that means 0 0 0 into 3 square this one this one next plus 0 0 0 3 cube 0 0 0 3 4 3 0 0 0 0 3 4 3 0 plus 3 4 3 0 0 0 plus a what is a 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 so add this add this we get the answer that means 3 cube plus 3 square 0 0 0 0 3 cube plus 3 square 0 0 right 0 0 3 cube plus 3 square 0 0 0 0 3 cube plus 3 square plus 0 0 0 3 4 3 plus 1 0 0 0 3 4 3 plus 1 0 0 3 4 3 plus 1 0 0 3 4 3 plus 1 0 0 0 so this is what actually answer right so this is very important problem right so what you do is that what is the best technique compute uh, see in order to compute something before 100 before 5 before 6 what you do is that make sure that actually write the matrix as a sum of scalar matrix something matrix sum of scalar matrix this is a scalar matrix you know this is scalar matrix sum of scalar matrix into something something it is titan potent something it is invalid tree something it is need potent something it is titan potent yeah you are getting it like that okay so this is very very important problem. is it clear hello 
Next is what is next is symmetric matrix. So symmetric matrix. So what is symmetric matrix? You know, a square matrix. It is also square matrix. The square matrix is symmetric. If one of whose transpose itself, whose transpose is itself. Right? Suppose you take the zero matrix. Is it is it a symmetric matrix? Yes, because they transpose is here. Suppose you take identity matrix. Is it symmetric matrix? Because they transpose is nothing but I transpose. I transpose is nothing but I. Take this. One, two, three. Three, one, two, four, five. Five. One. Is it symmetric? No. Because one, two, three. Two element. You no, know, once you take a transpose, a transpose is nothing but one, two, three, three, four, five, two, five, one. So this is not same as saying that a. Therefore, it is not symmetric matrix. Right? Suppose you take uh, this matrix. Right? Suppose you take this. A is this matrix, a square matrix. Does it mean that A plus A transpose? Is it symmetric? The answer is yes. Look at the transpose. What is this A plus B whole transpose? A transpose plus A transpose whole transpose. That means A transpose. A transpose whole transpose is A. Therefore, this can be written as A plus A transpose. Therefore, it is. A plus O transpose, O transpose is equal to A plus A transpose. Therefore, it is symmetric. Look at A minus A transpose. What is this? It is also symmetric because A transpose, A transpose, O transpose. Is it symmetric? It is A transpose minus A. So it cannot be symmetric matrix because A transpose, A minus A transpose, O transpose is equal to A transpose minus A. Therefore, it is not. So A minus A transpose is not. Not this. Right, we we'll take products. Suppose you take A, B are symmetric. A, B are. Mean that A plus B is symmetric? Does it mean that A is it symmetric? Does it mean that A to B is symmetric? Does it mean that scalar multiple of a symmetric is it symmetric? Yes. Huh? Yes, I know. So, does it mean that you take uh, power? Suppose we take power, integral power, suppose a square or a cube, are they symmetric? Does it mean that ab minus ba is it symmetric? Does it mean that ab plus ba is it symmetric? Right? Does it mean that, does it mean that, you know, this is also example, you know, bab. The A, A, B, A. Are they symmetric? Right? So these are the questions. Okay. okay. Suppose you take this A plus B. A plus B whole transpose equals A transpose plus B transpose. You know that they are symmetric. Therefore, A plus B. So sum of symmetric is symmetric. No doubt. Is the product? What about the product? A, B whole transpose is equals to B transpose into A transpose. That means B into A. You know, this name may not be. A, A B. So this may not be A B, right? So therefore A B may not be symmetric. If you take A B equals to B A, if you take A B equals to B A, in general, this may not be symmetric. Symmetric. But if you take uh, understand A B whole transpose, what you are getting, you are getting is B A. But if you take A B equals to B A, this is symmetric. If you take the condition, if you take AB equals to BA, they are commutative, then AB is a symmetric matrix. 
otherwise it may not be in fact this is reverse also true if you take ab ab is also symmetric if one only ab equals to b see one way you have done it what is converse the converse is you know ab symmetric means means what ab whole transpose is equals to a ab therefore this is b transpose into a transpose is equals to ab that means b is a symmetric a is symmetric therefore b into a is equals to ab therefore this is important property a into b in general may not be symmetric but a into b also symmetric provided a and a and b are commutative matrices is it clear no hello are you there yes sir yes sir so next is what about uh, scalar product so no scalar product what is this you know definition a in k into a transpose but a is a symmetric therefore k a. so k into a whole transpose equals to k a. therefore k a is symmetric and this is, this is very very important properties why because i already told you when i deal with the vector space suppose i take uh, this set the set of all symmetric matrices real symmetric matrices you know it is it a, is it a hle vector space is it a subspace space of a uh, set of all two plus two matrices yes the answer is because You know, scalar product of symmetric is symmetric, and sum of symmetric is symmetric. So it is closed with respect to vector addition. It is closed with respect to scalar multiplication. Hence, it is a vector space. No need to check it. All the properties because we have done we have done this idea in the basic matrix theory. So therefore, so so we don't may not much more concentrate on the properties of the matrices because we have done here, right? So set of all symmetric matrices always vector space over a field R. The field R. Of course, you can take we take complex field. Of course, these also. If is it a, is it true for complex? Is it true for complex? The answer is yes, because K is a scalar. K transpose is nothing but what K is. Right. So scalar product of a symmetric matrix is also symmetric matrix. Suppose AB plus BA is it symmetric matrix? So this is AB whole transpose plus BA whole transpose. That is equal to B transpose into A transpose. A transpose into B transpose. That is equal to B A because A and B are symmetric. This is A B. So A B plus B A is equal to A B plus B A because matrix addition is commutative. So therefore, A B A B plus B whole transpose is equal to A B A B plus B A. Therefore, A B plus B A is is symmetric. What about A B minus B A? Any? You know, A B whole transpose minus B A whole transpose. Therefore, this is B transpose into A transpose minus A transpose into B transpose. That is B A minus A B. Question is, are they equal? Are they equal? No. So therefore, in general, A B minus B A, in general, A B minus B A may not be symmetric matrix. May not be symmetric matrix. Of course, it is an askew symmetric matrix. It may not be symmetric matrix. Next is. Suppose you take this. Well, then actually, yeah. Next is a square a cube. Is it symmetric? Already told you, a square is always symmetric because it is looking like a product now, a into a. So whenever a is symmetric, product of two symmetric is always symmetric. Right? A cube also symmetric because after all, it is a product of symmetric matrix. You know, this is so. Uh, A symmetric. This is also symmetric. Product of symmetric is always symmetric. Right. So what you observe is any integral power of symmetric matrix is always symmetric matrix. If A is symmetric, any integral power is always symmetric. Right. Next is A B. So A B A. Is it symmetric? A B A whole transpose. So what is A transpose? B transpose. A transpose. That means A transpose is nothing but A. B transpose is nothing but B because all R are symmetric matrices. This is so symmetric. What is B A B? You know they are dummy now. This is also symmetric. A transpose. A transpose. B transpose. This is B A B. So symmetric. Next is what about uh, this matrix? Suppose you take this. 
P transpose A into B. When are A and B are symmetric matrices. What about this? B transpose, A transpose, B transpose into B transpose whole transpose. That is B transpose is B. So this is A transpose is A. B transpose is B. You know, this can be written as B transpose into A transpose into B because B is a symmetric. Of course, you don't need to convert this. You can keep as it is B transpose. You can keep this as it is. So therefore, B transpose A into B whole transpose is equal to B transpose into A into B. Therefore, this symmetric. Next is, suppose you take this. Suppose the important question. My matrix is set of all symmetric matrices. Set of all symmetric matrices. In fact, you can take um, n cross n matrices such that A is symmetric and whose entries can be Mr. Vedana this only. You can take 0, 1, 2, 0, 1. So, what is the cardinal of S? Anybody? What is the cardinal of S? Set of all symmetric matrices where the entry is running from entries over 0, 1. Entries over 0, 1. Ah, tell me. So symmetric matrix definition means what? If you take any element which is in S, that is a symmetric matrix, and the entries, all the entries should be zero or one. So suppose you take this is my matrix. So this is a one two, a two two, going on a two three, going two on two power n sir. Two power n. Two power two. So this is. Check it. Two power n, sir. Two power n. Two, two power m. Okay, I'll see. Yes, I'll see. What will happen? Yes. See, see, I don't actually, I don't, I don't want to control the, this lower, lower part because I don't want to control it because already once you fix a12, a12 is below the diagonal. Understand? Once you control the upper triangular elements, once you control this element, this element, this element, this element, automatically lower elements should be controlled. Understand once you control the upper triangular upper elements, upper elements automatically these lower elements are automatically controlled. Understand once you fix this is zero, automatically this should be zero. Once you fix this is one, this should be also one. So, therefore, don't bother lower elements. Understand, don't bother lower elements. Understand, so we bother about only upper elements with the diagonal elements with the diagonal elements. Understand, is it clear the point? So, therefore, a12 can be filled by zero or one. So, two choices. A12 can be filled by 0, 1, 1. A1 can be, A3 also can be filled by 0, 1. So A1N also can be filled by 0, or 1. Similarly, this is this is filled by 0, or 1. This, this is also filled by 0, 1. This is also filled by 0, 1. This is also filled by 0, 1. Now tell me, two. this has two choices. Two, this is two choices. Two choices. Two choices. Two choices. What is that? 2, 4, n. This is two choices, two choices, two choices. Two into two into two into up to n minus one. This is two power n minus one. This is two power one. So is is the work completed? Yes, now it is completed by taking the product. Two power n into n minus one into going on two power n minus two into two power one. So this is the cardinality of this. That means two power one plus two plus three plus n minus one into n. That means two power n into n plus one, right? Is it clear? Is it clear? So don't bother about the lower elements because once you control the upper elements, so lower elements automatically controlled. Is it clear? Hello? Is it clear? Hello? Yes, sir. Similarly, suppose you take, see if you take more and more elements, if you take 0, 1, minus 1, what happens? Suppose your IJ entry, 0, 1, minus 1. What happened? What is cardinal of S? Anybody? See, instead of two choices, what you're getting? Three choices, yes or no? Three choices. Two power three. Uh, sorry, two, uh, three power N. Three power N into N plus one by two. Suppose your cardinal T, see, your choices, A, I, J, cardinal T is suppose M. Understand? Each A, J, A, J as uh, it can be taken from one, two, three, four, up to M choices. Each A, J has M choices. Understand? Suppose you can take each A, J as M choices. Each A, J as M choices. What is the coordinate of S? 
M into M power one plus two plus three. So no, if each a is as three choices, you are going to get the formula three power n into n plus one by two. If each a is as m choices, cardinal of s is nothing but m power n into n plus one by two. This is nothing but formula for total symmetric matrices. Whenever each a entry, each entry of the symmetric matrix has m choices. Is it clear? Yes. Next is skew symmetric matrix. Right. Suppose A is a square matrix. Okay. So A square matrix is symmetric, skew symmetric, or anti-symmetric. If for now, if a transpose is equal to minus a, that means i j t entry of this is same as saying that i j t entry of minus a. This is true for every i i j. That means that means i j t entry of transpose is nothing but what j t entry of a. This is nothing but what i j t entry of a. This is true for every i j. In particular, in particular, i j t n. In particular, this is true for every j and i. Therefore, in particular, i i t entry, diagonal entries, is equals to i j t entry, i i t entry of a is equals to minus i i t entry of i i. Is true for every i. That means i i t entry, diagonal entries, two times diagonal entries is equals zero. That means each diagonal entry is zero. That means what you observe is whenever it is a skew symmetric matrix, whenever a is a skew symmetric matrix. All diagonal entries are zero. Is it clear? Right. Suppose we take this. A is equals to one, one, two, three, minus two, three, minus three. Right. Two, four, minus four, five. Yeah. Is it skew symmetric? Is it skew symmetric? Is it skew symmetric? No, no right. Just so look at the diagonal element. If it is skew symmetric, the diagonal must be zero, right? You know what about the diagonal? Diagonals are not zero, therefore not symmetric. Not not skew symmetric. Because you know, once it is skew symmetric, diagonal element must be must be zero. Suppose you take this one, two, three. Minus two, minus three, three, four, four, right? Minus four, five. Is it skew symmetric? The answer is yes, right. What is a transpose? Is it skew symmetric? No, right. Suppose you fix zeros. Is it skew symmetric? What is a transpose? Zero, two, three, right? Minus two, zero, four, minus four, right? Next is minus three, minus four, zero. Right, this is same as same as saying that zero two three, right? Minus two zero four, that is nothing but minus three four zero. Therefore, this is nothing but minus a. Therefore, it is skew symmetric, right? So what you observe is in diagonal elements in diagonal entries of so skew symmetric are zero. That is important, right? Next is what is the trace of skew symmetric? Anybody? Zero. 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 Right. Next is suppose you take A is a skew symmetric. Right. A is a skew symmetric or anti-symmetric. Question is, what about A plus A transpose? What about A minus A transpose? A minus what is A, a transpose? transpose. Huh? A minus A transpose is skew symmetric. Yeah, look at the properties. What is A plus A transpose whole transpose? A transpose plus A transpose whole transpose. This is minus A. This is A. Right? 
So therefore, this is minus a plus a. This is nothing but what? Zero, right? Or else you can write it as yes or no? Is it clear? This a transpose is minus a because a is a square matrix. This a transpose all transpose is nothing but what? A is. Therefore, a minus a is nothing but zero. Therefore, this cannot be a plus a transpose. Therefore, it may not be square matrix unless it is a zero matrix. So, right? So therefore, suppose you take this a minus a transpose. Is it square matrix? Is nothing but a transpose minus a transpose all transpose. This is nothing but what? Yeah. Minus a. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Minus a. Yeah. Tell me. Is it skew symmetric? Minus. My. Is it skew symmetric? Yes. First. Yes. So you can keep this as. So this can be rewritten as. This can be rewritten as a plus. Minus a can be written as. This can be written as a transpose, right? Because a is skew symmetric. Therefore, this can be rewritten as minus of. A minus a transpose. Therefore, a minus a transpose all transpose is equal to minus of a minus a transpose. Therefore. Let's give some it. Next, a transpose all transpose. What is this? A itself. Is that no? Is it clear? Yes, sir. So this can be rewritten as, you know, a transpose is minus a. Therefore, a can be written as minus a transpose. Therefore, this can be rewritten as minus a transpose. Therefore, a transpose all transpose is equal to minus of a transpose. Therefore, this also. Yes, sir. Right. Next is if you take the sum, same technique. A is given symmetric, B is skew symmetric. Question is, what is A plus B? What is A minus B? What is scalar multiple? What is you know product? What is A B plus B A? What is A B minus B A? What is you no know, A B A? What is B A B, you know you can you can calculate all these things. Yes or no? Is A power two, A power three, A power in general k? Yeah, tell me what is A plus B? A transpose plus B transpose. That means minus A minus B. That means minus of A plus B. So it excuse me. Okay. What is A minus B? What is A minus B whole transpose? A transpose minus B transpose. That is minus A plus plus B. This is nothing but minus of A minus B. Therefore, this also skew symmetric. K whole transpose. What is this? K into A transpose. That is A is skew symmetric. Therefore, minus K into A. This also skew symmetric. What is A B whole transpose? B transpose into A transpose. That is minus A. Sorry, minus B minus A. That is minus. That means B A. Is it clear? This is B into A. Question is, is it equals to minus of A B? Need not be. Yes or no? Need not be, right? So therefore, see all the matrices may not be anti-commutative. So therefore, in general, A B may not be skew symmetric. A B may not be skew symmetric. But if you take A B is A B A is equals to A B minus A B. They are anti-symmetric, anti-commutative. If B A equals to minus A B, they then A to B is a skew symmetric. Is it clear? In general, A to B is may not be skew symmetric. Skew symmetric, but if you take A into B is equals to minus A B minus B A, then A to B is a skew symmetric. Similarly, A B plus B A. What about this? A B whole transpose, B A whole transpose. That is B transpose into A transpose. Next, A transpose into B transpose. So what is this? Minus B minus A plus minus A minus B. That is B A B A next A B. Right. So A B plus B. See, this is a symmetric matrix, not anti-symmetric. A B plus B A whole transpose is equal to A B plus B A. What you are getting? A B plus B A. So it is. It is a symmetric, not anti-symmetric. It is it is anti-symmetric, not symmetric. Sorry, it is symmetric, not anti-symmetric. Right. Next, similarly, you can check this. Right. A B minus B A. What is A B minus B A? A B whole transpose minus B A whole transpose. So B B transpose into A transpose minus A transpose into B transpose. 
This is minus B minus A minus A minus B. Therefore, B A minus A B. Yes or no? Therefore, this is nothing but minus A B minus B. A. Now this is this is okay. Right? It is Q symmetric. What is A B A? A B A whole transpose is equal to A transpose B A transpose. A is Q symmetric minus A B is B transpose sorry B is minus B this is nothing but minus A. Therefore, what you are getting minus 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 three times so minus of A B A is also skew symmetric. What is B A B? It is also skew symmetric. Same thing now. What is A square? What is A square? A square is not A square whole transpose is equal to A into A whole transpose. That is same as saying that A transpose A transpose. Minus a minus a minus a into a is nothing but a square. It cannot be minus a square. Therefore, it is not not skew symmetry. But take a cube whole transpose. What is this? A transpose a transpose a transpose. That means minus a minus a minus a. That means minus of a cube. Therefore, it is skew symmetry. Yes, skew symmetry. Therefore, what you observe from these two properties, a power k is skew symmetry. Whenever is symmetric, whenever k is odd, it is symmetric. If k is even, understand if k is symmetric. If k is symmetric, then integral power of k is symmetric whenever k is odd. Is uh, symmetric whenever k is even. Same same idea. You can take a power whole transpose. What is it? What is this? A into a into a into a into a. That means what? A power a transpose whole power k. That means what? Minus a whole power k. That means what? Minus one whole power k into a power k. You know this is equals to a power k whenever k is even. This is equals to minus of a power k whenever k is odd. Therefore, k power k is q symmetric whenever k is at when a power k is q symmetric whenever k is even. Right. Next is same trick. We take this. This is equal to set of fog in q symmetric matrix of order n cross n such that a power a is equal to minus a. Each either the entry can be zero. Question is what is the cardinal tip? Yeah, tell me. What is the cardinal of this can into n minus one two four yeah two four n into n minus one by two right so what is it see if we take any matrix in yes what is the choice of this oh, diagonal entry should be zero if you take this a one two is a one three a one n this is minus a one two minus a one three Minus seven. This is a two three, a two n. This is minus a two three, minus a two n. Like that. Tell me. See if you fix the upper elements, automatically lower elements are fixed. If you fix this element, if you fix upper elements, if you fix this upper elements, if you fix this upper elements. Automatically lower elements are fixed automatically because by symmetry, by two symmetry. So the question is how many choices for a one two zero one two? How many choices for this zero one zero one? So each entry has two choices. Each entry has two choices. This also two choices. A n minus one n. Therefore, this also two choices. Therefore, this is what is this? How many entries? This two choices. Two choices, two choices. Therefore, this is what actually two power. How many twos? How many twos? First element is zero, so the zero is cannot be actually changed, right? So it's two power n minus one, two into two into two into two into up to n minus one. Therefore, two power n minus one. What is this? Two power n minus two. What is this? Two. Therefore, two power n minus one into two power n minus two into two power one. That means two power one plus two plus three plus n minus one. That means 
to four and into n minus one by two. Is it clear? Hello. Hello. Suppose if is is it entry zero minus one plus one? Yeah. Now tell me what is the cardinal of this? Three four n into n minus one because instead of two choices you are going to get three choices for each element. If cardinal d if each a j has m choices. What is the cardinal of s? Anybody? M into n minus m power n into n minus one by. Is it clear? Hello. Okay, sir. Sir, shall we continue the class or I'll stop? It? Yeah, I'll I'll stop, sir. Sorry. I'll stop. Okay. If you want to continue, no problem. Sir. Okay, sir. Let's just start again. No problem. Yeah. Any doubts? सर अपन सर मेरे प्रीवियस पेपर लो चूस तो कुछ ना भी एक कड़ो चुने चप्पन सर अब मेरे अच्छे चप्पता उन्हर का नहीं अभी वाला कि वीट में तो उस तो मैं नमस्ते कुछ कर दीजिए मेजर का वीट में ना देता हूँ कर दीजिए कार्डिनल टीम में क्वेश्चन सस्ता होता है सीएस सर लोगों का या कार्डिनल टीम में एक्वा Thanks. Nice.